Hello? Oh my god! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna pause this and make sure the microphone's working. Microphone is working! Okay, so summerween um i read the only yeah the only one left by riley sager yesterday i was reading it in the living room with my brother and my dad and i was just squealing i was putting it down i was i was yelling at them because obviously they they had to know what i was going through at the same time oh my god the whole book had me like gripped i do like a slow burning kind of we're gonna work out what's going on and then the last like 10 percent of that book was just plot twist after plot twist banger after banger and i'm telling you that was the best riley sager book i have read in a very long time also do you like my new glasses these are kylie minogue i'll show you the other ones hang on hang on hang on a second whoops <laughs> totally just took out the fucking wardrobe door there um so these are the kylie's just a brief interlude my new glasses uh, these are specs over zone look at them beauties i love them i love them i don't know what i'm doing with this microphone i should put it on my clothes if the door would stop banging these are also spectators i like these i like the bigger frame and i'm testing out the squarer frame on my face like these are more rounded they're cute they're cute but today we're wearing the Kylie's. Would you just stop? Anyway, okay. So that was book one done for Summerween. I was a bit late because um some we started on friday and i was working a late until like 8 15 so obviously i went to sleep and then yesterday nope day after that saturday um i went to brighton with my mum and my brother which you saw in the clip and then yesterday was sunday and i had the day to myself and i read the only one left and i also I mean, that one was five stars. Five stars. I'm going to, I read it on uh, Kindle because I pre ordered the Kindle book. Um, but I'm going to get the hardback when I get paid. Because um, that's one I'm going to reread and I'm going to lend out to people as well. So, yeah, I really, I really like that. I've seen some mixed reviews about it um, and I can see how people might not like it because it was very slow building. But, I like those kind of books and I liked the way it kind of jumped from oh would you just stop banging uh, 
um, from Lenora's point of view in 1929 and then to modern day when Kit's trying to work out what's going on. Um, ten out, I'm going to close this fucking door. Anyway, um, so that was that book. Five stars, ten out of ten. Loved it. Then we moved on to The Ravenous Death Dead, um, book two in the Gravekeeper series by Darcy Coates. I love this series. Um, it's what I kind of call cozy horror. Like the horror elements of it are scary, but at the same time, she's in a cute little village and she's got like, Zoe is my favourite character. And she's so funny. And then there's Mason with the whole, does he fancy Kira? Does he not? Like the first book started with Kira running through the woods, chased by two men with guns. Um, and basically she hit her head and she doesn't know who she is or why the men were chasing her and they are still chasing her. We got a little bit of de- development in that plot. Um, but she was found in the graveyard of this village and the pastor, father, whatever you call him, he kind of took her in and looked after her and then she... Um, went to stay in the gra- in the groundskeeper's cottage of the graveyard and she can see ghosts and she can talk to ghosts and she's trying to get them to like help them move on this is book 2 things have escalated there was a serial killer's ghost 4 out of 5 for this one and i might deviate from the summer ween tbr slightly to read number three um because i just really enjoy it i think it's set in australia um or i don't know i don't know where it's set all i know is it's foggy it's creepy um there was a place called cheltenham in this one which makes me think is it the UK or is it somewhere Britain colonised, i.e. Australia, where the author lives? I don't know. Um, but things escalated. Um, and I kind of don't want to leave that, that little world. So I might, I mean, it took me a few hours to read that so i might i might jump onto this one um what happens in this one kira is ready for a normal life haunted and hunted all she wants is to put her mysterious past behind her and move forward with her new friends as blighty graveyards groundskeeper but then she receives an invitation to dinner at the local recluse's crumbling ancestral estate the mansion is steeped in history that is equal parts complicated and bloody, and at its centre is the man who once tried to kill her, now begging for her help. Dane Crispin believes his home is haunted and that the unquiet dead clawing through the ancient house are after him. Unnerved and intrigued, Kira opens her second sight and discovers he's right. Resentful spectres cling to Dane, and if she can't find a way to stop them, they threaten to consume everything in their path. There's something dark happening in the world beyond most people's vision, and if Kira isn't able to sever the ties between the living and the dead, the chain spirits may not be the thing the only things twisted beyond saving. Okay, okay. I'm gonna read this next. I'm gonna read this next. Okay, it's happening. Um so Daphne, which was my next read, um, is gonna have to wait. I really do want to read this, especially because Bird Box kind of broke my mind when I read it all those years ago um and this one I mean I love a slasher horror has a new name Daphne and she's been dying to meet you oh yes no we're gonna stay in Blighty and read this and then I'm gonna go on to Daphne and then I've only got two books left to read, which is A House with Good Bones by a Teaking Fisher, which also covers a net galley, because I got that on net galley. 
I'm very behind on my net galley. Um, and then a dowry of blood, because I still haven't read that, and I really, I really want to read that. Um, pining, sad vampire ladies. Yeah, I think that's a good order. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do I end it with a dowry of blood? Do I end it with a house of good bones? Or do I keep this train rolling? I've got a new net galley um, proof sent to me called Mr. Lullaby. And apparently that gave people daytime terrors. We'll see. Anything to feel something.
you back there. Cool, okay. The sound quality might not be as good because um, I can't remember where I put my microphone, <laughs> basically. Um, but hello. Uh, <coughs> it's a couple of, sorry, <clears throat> got a sore throat today. It's a couple of days after the readathon finished. Um, I DNF'd Daphne, um, just wasn't vibing with it. Um, and then I, as you saw, went on to Dowry of Blood, which was fantastic up until the epilogue. I feel like the epilogue was unnecessary. Um, but apart from that, I really loved it. So all in all, I read four books. Um, I'm sad I never got to the, the House with Good Bones, but I will read that anyway. Um, and the only other update I have for you is I painted the library ceiling and we now have chairs. So that's fun. Um, I will eventually do a library tour when everything's finished. I've got two more bookcases and I've got to put the star stickers on the ceiling um, and find, because the ceilings are text, which is really annoying, I have to somehow find a way to stick the stickers because some of them are peeling off and Hazel was walking around just now um, with a star. Hello Hazel. Hi hey, baby. There's, there's Hazel. There you are. Hello. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi. You didn't want to nap with Daniel. Your beautiful face. Alright, I love you. Anyway, <laughs> she was walking around with a star on her paw for a while today till we realised. <laughs> so, yeah. But apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah. And we, we've got this um, kind of, it's like sticky back gold strips because my, my edges aren't fantastic. You can see up there. There's like blobs and stuff where my hand kind of twitched. Um, so we're going to put that along the line and then where the fairy lights are will like kind of reflect off of the gold strips to like give us some more kind of gold lighting in here. But I'm, I'm loving it. It's like a little, a little reading nook, a little, yeah, a little library. So anyway, <laughs> that's the end of the vlog. Peace.